Hello and welcome to Paul's Racing Channel uh, for the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by UpshiftStore.co.uk. So this is it then, the new season is upon us. Just firstly, want to wish everybody a happy new year, a bit belated I know, but uh, had a bit of a nice break, haven't we all? We're all raring to go, I think, the drivers, the commentators, hopefully, and uh, I'm sure you viewers can't wait to watch these get underway. We've got the BTCC Replica Championship starting as well, very soon, so that's uh, watch out for that as well on my channel but this is the new friday night championship the super formula championship as you can see from the screen these are open world cars similar to f1 but uh, not the same these are about just over 600 brake horsepower just over half a ton still uh, very quick sort of the japanese version of uh, f1 really if you like uh, two manufacturers, main manufacturers, and that's Toyota and Honda. So there's a bit of a mix there. Uh, some great liveries out there too. So round one here from Monza. We'll be getting one the ways. One race only. Uh, 38 laps. Obviously there'll be uh, stops as well involved. Um, so straight through. 38, 39 laps. And uh, that's it in a nutshell. So let's go to see what the grid's like. So in pole position. Based on quality, we've got Thomas, we've got Wadru in second, Chuck in third, James Stephen in fourth, Paul in fifth, Too Fast For Use in sixth, Jerry seventh, Unforgiven eighth, DJ in ninth, Ginger tenth, Molson in eleventh, and Jay Dyson in twelfth. Uh, they're allowed to use three compounds only, doesn't matter when they use them, but throughout uh, the 38 laps they've got to use three compounds, and that's the super softs the softs and the mediums so whatever order they want it to go in it's entirely up to them that's it let's get it underway it's gonna be a fast ride this one so buckle up your seat belts and we should be away lights are just coming on now so as they go out there you go green lights on and away they go everyone with a good start got a Make sure you don't wheel spin it off there and lose it. A little bit of traction is required just to get you off as they head down the turn one. Thomas still leading. Oh, and Thomas has had a bit of a nudge there. Not sure what happened there, but he's well at the back now then. So Thomas has something happened there. Not sure. And someone else is off too fast. Has gone all the way back down to 10th, 12th. Now he's at the back of the queue as well. So not a great start at turns one and two there. It was always going to happen, but back up front, James Stevens takes up the lead with Wadru attacking him. Up the inside goes Wadru into first place. Good pass, good move. So Wadru is then who takes up the lead from James Stevens, Chuck, Jerry, Paul still in fifth. A small gap back to Jay Dyson, who's had an excellent start. He was at the back of the pack. He's up to sixth already, but I think he must have got himself through all that messing around at turns one and two now didn't get involved with it and got himself through and so he's up to sixth place already great move out good for him to uh, not get caught up too much in all that melee there he is Jerry Dyson chased down by DJ now Thomas now pulse it up back down to wave Thomas there he is so he's going to try and do all he can to get himself back up to where he was at the start. Of course, still only on lap one, so hell of a long way to go. And we've got a lot of strategy to be played here as well with these pit stops and tyres, etc. So certainly not over yet, is it? Unforgiven in ninth. Too fast after that mistake. Being attacked by Molson. Now Molson, can he get up the inside here at turn one? Not quite. I think Too fast has got it, so... Yeah, the main attempt too far. Molson 11th. And Ginger there in 12th place in the Renault livery. So back up top then, and it looks like James has taken back up that lead from Wadru. He has. It looks like he's pulling away. Quite a nice little gap too. So James Stevens there. Looking pretty comfortable out there. Not everyone's a fan of these open wheel cars and the racing that they uh, that they give, but trust me, this is going to be a great championship. 
be some long races of course but still great entertainment so James there coming down to the final bend there's uh, right hand up sweeping right hand up pretty much flat all the way through there in these cars anyway don't really need to brake at all if I'm honest around now James then Modru sitting there comfortably in second with his teammate Chuck in third so the two cannon cars Chuck is he going to attack his teammate not sure he's going to I think he's just going to try and de defend and keep the others behind him doing a good job at the minute Chuck oh loses it a little bit there though a bit squiggly that's going to allow Dyson through so Dyson up to fourth now and I think Jerry got through as well we did so Dyson up to third so from the back to the third here we are in the third lap already so Jerry there fourth place now the little attack here from Thomas up the inside of Chuck as well I think Thomas has got there he has over the curb a bit oh a little bit almost let loose on in there but controlled it well and Chuck in sixth Chuck just uh, dropped a couple of spots there just got done over a little bit in terms one and two. I don't know if he made a, a small mistake, but he didn't need we see it. But he's been hounded now by Paul in the Red Bull. If we can hold right up the back of Chuck, is Paul in seventh. He's gonna stick behind him now. Can he can he get Chuck along this back straight? Maybe. These cars have got a bit of DRS as well that they can use well the equivalent of DRS and away he goes goes Paul past Chuck there down to the final bend gets himself into sixth place good pass I think it was aided by a bit of slip and a bit of uh, maybe a bit of DRS as well but nevertheless gets there sixth place so he's chasing down Jerry now Chuck there in sit and seventh still now can he return the favour maybe and get back on sixth place from Paul at the end here turns one and two he didn't go for it, so still in seventh place then. Chuck, GJ behind him, DJ in eighth, just uh, dropping back a bit. But some of these guys, remember, won't be going flat out this early. Could be a bit of fuel saving going on. So it's all to do with strategies. Who's where at the end of this race for sure? Some will go flat out, but they're not going to make it very long. Others will have something else in mind and it's all about what's what's best for their car and for their team in this championship. <clears throat> so DJ in eighth then, too fast in ninth. And actually they're two teammates, aren't they? So DJ and too fast, eighth and ninth. <coughs> Excuse me. Unforgiving in tenth. Making it easy there in 10th, eyeing up his uh, competition. <coughs> then Molson in 11th, still being hounded by Ginger in 12th place. Ginger gonna try and get something off of Molson here at the back of the pack. Better drive out there to Ginger, but he's going to go wide and he may get a penalty for that. Still got penalties here, obviously. Sometimes you get it for going too wide out there, but looks like he's got away with that one. Didn't really gain anything, I suppose, did he? So, 12th place it is. So, we've got another new leader by the looks of it, and it's Dyson. So, Dyson, here he is. I missed the pass, but he's up there now. So, it's teammates one and two. The weather is a little bit of teamwork there to allow Dyson through from James. Maybe James having a quick rest. He's going to do a little bit of defending, see if he can let his teammate Dyson pull away in front. But at the moment, up there from the back of the pack, and James being hounded by Wadru in third. So is Wadru going to, he's not going to go up the inside there, but he might have a chance down the back straight. James will do all he can to try and keep Wadru behind him. But now he's attacking his teammate, whether he'll actually make the pass, I'm not sure. It may just sit there. Just almost push him along. Yeah, he's not going to make the pass there. He's just going to try and cover as best he can. Wadru, though, on the attack in third. 
and Thomas, he's got himself up to fourth as well, so... The thomas Wadru rivalry, here we go again, this continues and they're up there in the top four. And there's a small gap back to Paul in fifth. Wadru, uh, thomas having a look up the inside of Wadru, does he get there? He does, sort of, halfway, but Wadru's going to have the inside line still. He does, Paul's got the parody in the background, so I'm not sure what that was about, but Thomas a squiggly. So he loses some time from Wadru there, it's going to allow Paul to get onto the back of Thomas, going to go around the outside is he, but he's got that penalty remember, so he will have to scrub that off, but fairly easy to get rid of him around here at Monza. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, yeah, gets up past Thomas then, I think Thomas let him add that a little bit to be honest. Fourth place for Paul then, Thomas back to fifth. Paul still trying to scrub off that penalty, but not going anywhere yet, is it? Probably leave it till the very last corner or the back straight to get rid of that. So Thomas knows he'll be in with a bit of a chance to, to get that fourth place back again. Scrubs off a little bit more, just pull. Pulling away from Thomas a little bit. I don't know whether he used a bit of... He's going to pull over here, just get rid of that. Thomas will fly by now. So he's going to go back to fifth. Is Paul, there he is, Thomas, back to fourth then. No problem, no. And then we've got Chuck in sixth place. Looking comfortable there, isn't he, Chuck? Jerry back to seventh. As we start lap seven now. Just another 31 to go. But it's going to be hair raising this championship, I tell you. Back to the front then, Dyson. He's not really getting away from his teammate, but then he doesn't really have to, as long as his teammate's between himself and the rest of the cars, then uh, that's all he can ask for, really. Oh, it's that curb hard, and again, James just closes up a little bit because of that. Wadru, though, he's not going to leave him, leave him alone, is he? Wadru, still going to be Getting up close to him behind, getting a bit of close and personal from Wadru. No more than you would expect. And there's quite a big gap back to Thomas and Paul. He's still having a little battle out here at the back straight. Thomas has still got it there in fourth, but Paul right up behind him. Thomas covering the inside for that left hand up. Gets back into the correct line through. <coughs> Thomas fourth then. to excuse me if you hear coughing in the background but uh, I have got a cough at the moment so just bear with me apologies but try and get you through these comms as best I can Paul then fifth place Chuck being hounded now he's in sixth but being hounded by Jerry in seventh and he's got around the outside or inside outside of Chuck he makes it Jerry he gets to the sixth Chuck then back to seventh that's a good move at turn one too fast up to eighth he's got past his teammate DJ who's in ninth so two Benettons in eighth and ninth place and we've got Unforgiven still in tenth just biding his time now. Unforgiven on, on the mediums, getting rid of uh, those here in his first stint and all goes off and that's a bit of grass cutting. Fortunately, no one's around, so he's not lost anything, just a bit of time. So mediums for Unforgiven. Ginger's actually got past Molson now, Molson just going a little bit wide there, was he? Did I see him? But anyway, that down in 12, Ginger also in the mediums with Molson, who's also on the medium. So 10th, 11th, 12th, the ones at the back are all on the mediums, getting them out nice and early. He's probably still get at least 12 laps out of these, maybe 13, maybe it depends really, doesn't it, on the driver. But whatever they want, they can use, but they can only use the three compounds. And if they want 
they need to refuel at the end for a, a quick splash and dash. They can, but they're not allowed to change tyres. That's the rules in this one. You're allowed to just fill up with a little bit of fuel, but not allowed to change to a new set of tyres. Dyson then, still out in front on the super softs. Pulling away, nice little lead. Wadjum's got through the second now, so and Thomas is third, and uh, Paul, the sorry, James in fourth. So Thomas and Wadru has got past James. So that defence has cracked. Wadru is now attacking Dyson. Wadru also on the super softs. We're looking at a bit of slip and a bit of uh, DRS here. <coughs> Not quite. It'll sit there though. Possibly have another go down here at the start and finish line. Not close enough at the moment, but by the time it gets to the turns one and two, it'll be right on him. Coming into effect now, he's going to pull out. No, he's not going to go for that. He said, No, I'll wait, plenty of time still. But I'll have some of your slip, thanks very much. And he got my fuel. So, Roger then looking to take up the lead. We'll just stick with this just to see if he makes this move in the next lap or so or whether. He's just going to sit there and comfortable behind Dyson. Thomas, though, meanwhile, he's pushing on and he's looks like he's slowly catching these two, so they don't want to be holding each other out for too long because Thomas is on the charge in third. James there in the background still in fourth, Paul in fifth, so started in fifth, still in fifth. Ten laps in already, so there you go. Almost a third of the way through this race already, so it's not going to take long, is it? Wadru then, and Thomas is on it now, and Thomas is going to have a little bit of this slip through in a minute. There they are, the top three in shot. Wadru, that tighter line, now he's going to switch to that wider line and back in behind. Yeah, he's got to attack him now, surely. He's right time, here he goes, Wadru then. Good, good drive out of that final corner up the inside of Dyson. It's in the lead already by a nose. It's going to take Dyson. There he goes into turns one and two. That quick right, left chicane. So Wadru first, Dyson second. He's under pressure now from Thomas in third. So Thomas made that, made that little mistake right at the start of turn one. Put himself off the track, dropped himself all the way back down to the back pretty much. But look where he is now, got himself up into them podium spots already. And like Wadru, we all know about Thomas, we know what he's like as a driver, and uh, certainly ain't going to give up as not a giving up type. Especially in a long race. Oh, and Paul in the background. It's a bit of dirt and grass, but didn't really all his progress is attacking James now. Up here, James just covering a little bit. Paul, though, flicks back out, gets on the inside. Is that a good move from Paul? Was he too late? No, it was a great move, actually, yeah. So it looked like he's going to one way, then just switched it back to the inside, into the braking zone, and made that move stick. James, though, is he going to be attacking him back straight away? It's not going to go get him there, but he might get Paul along the start and finish. Let's have a look. Oh, James runs wide out there a little bit. So not quite as close as he was going into there. Might still get a bit of slip from back there. Not mad. Maybe a little bit. It might be just out of range. Yeah, didn't get it there. But James in fifth place. Paul up to fourth. Chuck still in sixth. Where he's been pretty much all the race so far. Again, had a little moment at the start of the race at this point. But gathered it up well and sick a place it is with Jerry behind him in seventh so Jerry's still attacking too fast slowly creeping onto the back of these two as well 
But fuel now, look at Jerry's fuel actually. And he's on the soft, so we are about at that point where drivers will be thinking about coming in. And I can only imagine that Jerry's going to be coming in at the end of this lap. Changing compound, getting some fuel on. So look at Chuck's tyres, about the uh, fuel, about the same. I think everybody's going to be flashing now at some point. So let's, just have a look. let's go back to that leader and just have a quick look. Now, Audrey is OK. He's probably got another another lap's worth or so out of that. Oh, he's just flashed onto the red now, but he might get one more lap out of this. So it should be all right. Let's just stick with him and see. And I wonder, Thomas has got himself up to second now, so I wonder if he's going to follow Audrey wherever he goes. If he goes in, will he go in? Well, we might find out. He's not going in, Wadru, so he's going to get one more lap out of it. Thomas has agreed. He's going to stick with him as well. But Dyson and Paul, they're in. So third and fourth place are in. James, how about him? No, he's stuck out. So James in third place then. So Wadru, Thomas, James, two fast has got up to fourth now. Because Jerry's in, Chuck's in. DJ in the fifth place. So quite a few of them he decided after 12, 13 laps that it was time to... Well, I think we'd have a lot of choice, really, did they? The fuel levels were down, they weren't going to get another lap out of it, so they had to come in. So, DJ fifth place, Unforgiven, sixth. These are all guys who are going to get at least another lap of racing out of them tyres and out of the fuel. Dyson then comes out in seventh, actually. Ahead of Paul, who's in eighth now. He's on the mediums, he's Paul. Decided to go mediums for this second stint. Likewise, Dyson is also on mediums. How about Chuck? Let's have a look. Yep, exactly the same. So it looks like a lot of the people of the decided to go with mediums, second uh, stint. Jerry, yeah, exactly the same. Ginger in 11th. He is as well. Molson going with super softs. He's in 12th place because he started on the mediums. So that's the tyre situation. Back at the front, no Wadru. In now, Wadru's in. Thomas is going to be in as well, absolutely. So, James is going to be in too. Yeah, so now all these phone boys are all coming in too fast as well, I'd imagine. He is as well. So, that's it then. DJ is our leader. But I think he'll be in as well. He is. Unforgiven. I would think we'll also be in. Yeah, definitely be in for Unforgiven. So, Dyson then. He's our effective leader as he comes around that final bend now. Runs a little bit wide, but he's going to take all these guys in their box. And actually, Wardrew has come out in first still. So Wardrew and Thomas first and second. So a magnificent stop. In and out. Back out in their respective positions. First and second place. So a good stop from them, boys. So is that the last we've seen of Wadru and Thomas in this race? I hope not. I think there'll be a little bit more drama. I don't think it's over yet, so don't go switching over or turning off. Please like and subscribe to my channel. These will be coming in thick and fast from now on, along with our BTCC Replica Championship that runs alongside. Well, we've got a couple more rounds of that to go. Rounds five and six, which is a continuation from the current season that finished before Christmas so we've just got to finish that off round five coming to you soon Audrey then first then Thomas comfortable in second Dyson third and Paul in fourth James not that far behind Paul looking to attack and we were again aren't we I think these were attacking for fourth and fifth and having a race before they went in for these positions so they're back at it again Chuck still in sixth place so no change for Chuck either came in in sixth didn't he he's come out in sixth Too fast now in seventh place. 
There's so much power these cars for such a little weight. Slightly smaller than your F1s, but very, very similar. I'm not going to go into all the technical details because I don't know what they are, but clearly the F1s are a bit more technical than what these are. These are their Japanese equivalents, but. Uh, even if I did know, I know I'm not even going to bore you with them anyway, but the details. So, too fast in, looking at Chuck at the inside, going to take him easy. I say easy, well, he did take him. It wasn't quite as easy as what I said, but uh, Chuck will just sit behind too fast now, see if he can get into his slip here. He won't need that DRS. might do now as he comes along this start and finish run to both run a little bit wide gets their back wheels on the, the dirt out there as I say you don't want to be going out too far out there that was fine but if you go too far out there you will get a penalty for it Chuck then trying to chase down too far it's not going to get him down there too far back at turn one and two just ahead of them though Paul and James looks like it's been a change yep yeah, James He's got himself up into fourth place, Paul fifth, so there has been a change. James must have got him on the start and finish of turn one. Must have got himself into the slip there. James then up to fourth. Going to try and get back onto the back of his teammate. He's not that far ahead of him. Roger and Thomas still first and second. For James, Paul, oh, Paul with another penalty, so picked up a couple of penalties here, hasn't he? 16 laps in, so over halfway now. So really cracking on with this race. So Paul, he'll run that off. Got a little bit of time behind him, got too fast. It's yeah, some way behind him at the moment anyway, so can easily run that off without losing too much time. Too fast and sick, who's got past Chuck now. So Chuck drops back down to seventh. So don't know whether that was too fast, just had better tyres there. Maybe chunks on the mediums now, remember, so it might be a little bit of that coming into play. And then DJ, eighth place. Jerry's dropped all the way back down to ninth now, so Jerry's not having the best race here. He was up there, wasn't he, at the start, but attacking Chuck a lot of the time, but he's dropped back down to ninth. Might just be the tyres, maybe, but again, still plenty of time, so it might be all part of his master plan. Again, we'll find out by the end. Unforgiven in 10th still, where he's been from the start. So he obviously knows what he's doing, he's on the softs. He's gonna be, have something there, I would imagine, as a plan as well. Perhaps he's looking for that third and final stint where we can really, really push try and get himself up that order. Molson meanwhile in 11th got past Ginger at some point whether that was during the stops or whether that was just through racing on the track itself. There he is oh now come to Ginger and he's just run off wide at turn two. Easily done there if you're too hot into into there then uh, it's never ball that you're going to be ending up in the little bit. then 12th let's just go back and just have a look up the top just to see if Thomas is catching Wadru doesn't look like it no if anything Wadru's pulling away number 77 used to seeing Wadru up up the front a sharp end of this of these races aren't we seems to be able to drive any car you give him pretty much. I mean, I know there's a couple of cars that I do know that he didn't get on with, but uh, pretty much everything you put him in is going to be fast. Likewise, Thomas, there in second place. Had this to do there 
starting a championship if they can stay where they are be in a good position early doors of course but always nice to get yourself up there in their podium spots after round one Jay Dyson third looking pretty good now he's looking comfortable there in third and then quite a big gap back to his teammate James Stevens in fourth there he is who's been handed now by Too Fast who's actually got past Paul as well so Too Fast has got through to fifth place Paul back to sixth so James in with a mirror full of Too Fast I think it's a matter of time before Too Fast gets that spot. Too Fast is on the soft, softer compound tyre. James is only on the mediums, and yeah, there we go. I think he's flying past now. Well, not flying past then, but he gets there now just, but James has got that inside line. Who's latest on the brakes? I think James has got it. Yeah, he does keep it there. As long as they get through there nice and clean, they do. So fifth for two fast, still behind James. He's going to keep going, isn't he? Still going to be attacking Paul there, still. In for sixth place then, Chuck in seventh. DJ eighth, too fast though. Oh, now just that's, that's the inside, he's going to bring the outside. This next left, right, and up. James just gets back inside in front. Yeah, pretty clean through there. From them guys, there's Paul. Just hanging off the back of these now. Just needs to can't just quite you know, get enough to get onto the back of him Chuck in the seventh trying to get onto the back of Paul as well so too far so you know, surely going to be getting James down here that looks quick for James's car he's on the mediums as I say which in truth are not actually that bad a tyre on these cars don't really lose that much time. You know, more than not not for what you would expect anyway. They're really pretty good tire actually. Obviously not as good as the softs and the supers, but not bad out there. Too fast then. Let's just stick with this and just see if he gets past him. Well, exactly the same position as last lap and again. He makes it this time, or does he? Ooh, gets through there, yeah, just about. So, too fast through then, Steve James in fifth, Paul then. He's got onto the back of these again now in sixth after their fighting there at turn ones and two. And Paul trying to get back on it, and that's still going on this, this battle. James up the inside, and he's got him again. So, James up to fourth place, what a battle this is. Oh, too fast in every which way he can and he's still up right up the back of two of uh, James it was that little tag might have been you know it's like a little hurry up hurry up James on there he's saying to him I'll tell you what I'll help you oh now Paul he's got having a look at too fast is he up the inside he might be you know no did think about it did Paul sixth place though remains too fast still chasing down so this little three car battle good little battle here for fourth fifth and sixth James heading it up at the moment so we'll be visiting some great uh, circuits throughout the world in this championship all F1 circuits as well Ones are here, of course, as too fast as another look. He's on the outside now, or on the inside, coming down here to turn one. James isn't going to go around the outside there, is he? If he can get himself on the inside, if no, nice oh, comfortable pass by too fast then in the end. But he picks up a penalty, he's not what he wanted at that point. So he gets through, but maybe, maybe just a little bit too aggressive. And the game decided to give him a penalty there half a second. Run that off, no problem. There we go, that's that gone pretty much tiny little bit left we'll get rid of that no problem so can't see him losing fourth spot there there it is that's gone barely lost anything at all actually too fast fourth James fifth 
Paul sixth, and Chuck in seventh. DJ in eighth, where he's been for most of the race as well. Unforgiven's actually made a place up on Jerry now, so Unforgiven in ninth. So maybe this is the start of his little crawl back and through the positions. 20 lap, 21 laps in. Unforgiven then. This is the major fight back that we've been waiting for from Unforgiven. Guys will be coming up to getting close to their required second stop. Within the next, I would say, maybe three or four laps time, depending on people's fuel situation. Jerry in 10th then. He's being closed down big time by Bolson. So Jerry, just not feeling it at the moment out there on them mediums. Can't quite get anything going here. Molson right on him, Molson's going to attack him, but Molson, oh, that's Ginger, sorry, Molson did get past him with ease, so he missed that one, but I think we got the gist, Molson gets through on Jerry, there we go, it's a good pass from Molson, aided a bit by Slip and probably a bit of DRS as well, but up to 10th then from Molson, Jerry 11th, and then who we just had a look at briefly, Ginger in 12th. So he'll keep going there in 12th place. Up top, we're still looking at Wadrup and Thomas, but I'm going to go back and see how too fast he's getting on. Too fast, still in fourth, so he's pulling away a little bit now. Dyson, how far is he up the road? Yeah, he's, well, he's on his own a bit there in third, isn't he? Just up the road, though. That turns one now is Thomas. There goes Wadrup just out of shot. So there's your first and second place, guys. Wadrup. comfortable as ever. I don't think he's used any DRS at all yet, actually. Having said that, that's natural, has he, really? No point, there's no one in front of him. He was using a lot of uh, James slip at the start of this race, so probably didn't need to use it there either. Thomas has used just over half of his. Using a little bit now as well, just uh, giving that little bit of boost. Dyson, he's used pretty much exactly half of his. Dyson, you don't have to use it all up in this race or in the races. It's there to be used. You don't have to use it, but once you have used it all up, that's it, it's gone. It doesn't replenish. You know, if you've used it up too early and you need it, tough titties, it's gone, it's gone. Too fast then. He's, well, he's pretty much used all of it, isn't he? So there you go. Just as I was saying, too fast. He's got a tiny little bit left. So will that work in his favour come the end of this race? It might not if he needs a little bit. He's left a tiny bit, so he, he has reserved a bit there. James in fifth place. And he's... Well, I've probably got about just over a quarter left of uh, of his. And then Paul, yeah, he's only just got about a quarter left as well. So there's only Wadrew at the moment who hasn't used any. So he's going to have a field day if he wants to use it come the end. But as he's out in front, no need to at the moment, does he? Chuck in seventh few he hasn't used a lot either as Chuck. Maybe only used about just over a quarter, so still got a lot of his left. So like his teammate, maybe it's the cannon thing. They're uh, not using it, or at least not yet, or maybe they won't. Seventh place for Chuck, though. DJ, yeah, he's not used a lot either. Tiny little bit off that. So obviously, some drivers feel they want to, Unforgiven, again, he's not uh, 
Might use a lot of about the same as DJ actually ahead of him. Molson, yeah, he's only got about a quarter of left. Dyson goes in, so Dyson, our third place driver, is in for his final stop. Jerry goes a bit wide. He's got about half a tank of DRS left. Ginger's not used a lot either. So, as I said, that was Dyson who was in the stops. But Wadru is still in there. Dyson dropping down the order, down to eighth now. So he's got... About 13 laps left to the end that Dyson's got to uh, use. Can't stop again for tyres. He can stop for a splash and dash if he wishes, if he needs to. If he just needs to get a little bit of fuel in at the end. That's the purpose of that. No tyre change though. Repeat, no tyre change. That'll be a penalty if they come in and change. Watch you. He won't be coming in here, I don't think. He's going to get another one or a couple of laps out of that for a while, I would have thought at least. Our leader looking comfortable out there. Not really much more we can say, is there? Yeah, not coming in, Thomas. He won't come in, but I think he's going to have to come in next time round. He's got a little bit less fuel than what Wadru has. And they're too fast, he's up to third as we know. And he's going to have one more lap out of that as well. So, third place for too fast. Paul, Chuck, James have all decided to come in as well. So let's go back up to the leader a minute because I think he's actually going to be catching the back marker. He's certainly up there. Whoever that back marker is, I think it might be Ginger. He was in last place, wasn't he? It is Ginger. So our leader, Wadru, is going to be taking Ginger, I think. Or maybe not. He might not, actually. If he's got to come in for fuel, might not quite make it. But there's Ginger there in the foreground. So almost lapping out the field here is Wadru. So now everyone I'll go back to the positions as they are now before everyone, obviously everyone hasn't gone in yet. So it's all going to change again. But Wadru obviously first place, second for Thomas. Too fast to the third to top three. They obviously haven't come in yet. DJ fourth. Another one's not come in. Nice and, and he is in and he has been in. So he's come out in fifth. He's refueled. Got his final set of tyres on, Thomas is in now, so he's not following Wadru this time, we couldn't could he, he was down on fuel, so he's had to come in, too fast, we'll either take second or he's in as well, he is, Dyson though, could get these, so let's have a look, is Dyson going to get Thomas and too fast whilst they're stationary? Just coming around that final bend now. DJ's in as well. So he's definitely going to be taking DJ. But it's where no, Thomas does come out ahead of... There he is, just coming out now. Dyson's going to be close behind him, going into turn one. But he's come out in second then, so... Thomas, remember Wadra hasn't got in yet, but still out there in front. So Thomas in second, then Dyson third. Too fast, fourth. So he drops the spot too fast down to fourth place. Dyson gets past him while he was in the, in the stop. James in fifth place. He's come in and done his stop, and Paul in sixth has also come in. Now he's on the super softs for this last stint. That's sixth place for Paul. Chuck in seventh still. He's been in, been in as well and come out. Lap 27 now into these what final. 11, 12 laps now left. Well, it's 11, isn't it? Wadru's in now, so Wadru's in. So let's just go back and see where Thomas is going to come out here. Oh, he's quite some way back. Is Thomas, I don't think he's going to be getting Wadru. Having said that, 
quit these cars. Not actually too sure how long it takes for the stop, the complete stop in and out. Oh, and he's going to be close, whatever happens. Thomas goes past Wadru, there we are. No, Wadru's there, so Wadru is coming out now, there they are. Wadru comes out just ahead of Thomas. So, as they were, and the gap is pretty much the same, might be a little bit closer than Thomas, but Wadru is on the mediums now. So Wadru is on mediums, Thomas is close, isn't he? And he's on the super soft, so here we go. This could be another great finish here round one at Monza. Thomas is going to be feeling like he's going to have a little bit more pace to what wadru has got, especially with the tyres differences as well. I know I said that the mediums isn't a lot of difference, but soft super softs are still obviously quicker tyre in comparison but mediums can hold their own so Thomas then trying all he can to get onto the back of Wadru and he is definitely catching probably just out of DRS range now Wadru just trying to get him away from his slip Wadru can see him obviously in his mirrors so let's just stick with this now. Let's just stick with these front boys for a sec. Let's see, because Wadru is under pressure big time at the moment from Thomas. Goes down that dirty stuff they both do. They're really trying to not give everyone their slip, but well. Thomas, he's closed right up in him, obviously, here at turns one and two. It's just the nature of the beast you flat out, didn't look like there was a lot in it along that straight, but at that braking zone, he's hauled Wadru right in as Thomas now, and Thomas is going to be looking to do what he can to get past him, and he's right up behind Wadru now, Ooh, a bit of a squibble for Wadru, is that the pressure from Thomas, or is that just a little moment from him? Thomas, oh, he nearly had a little moment too, just got his back wheels there on the grass, nearly lost it. So he's not really gaining, is he? He can gain him on the brakes, but along the, the straights, really nothing in it at all. So Thomas then, and I'm going to stick with his guys for the time being. I just want to see if Thomas does make that pass or whether Wadru amazing first so here we go pretty much the same as last lap as they come round the final bend if he can get a good run out of here Thomas can he get himself into the slip of Wadru yeah, he's definitely closer this time but is he close enough to activate that DRS well it looks like it Ooh, covering those Wadru's covering the inside line what a great battle this is still there Wadru Thomas still second place. Wadru. Good exit out of that. Turn two from Wadru. And this is going to go to the wire. I think this one. 30 laps gone now. Into the final stretch of this race. Eight laps to go. We haven't worried about tyres or fuel now. It's flat to the end. No more conserving, or reserving I should say. And uh, flat to the floor. But, crucially, Wadru still remains in first. Oh, and Thomas is as close as he's been now. And he's definitely going to be having a launch and a bit of a go down here. Again, Wadru comes to inside line, but Thomas is going to see what he can do. Go back down around the outside, perhaps. He's got there. Thomas has got there momentarily. Oh, and around the outside. What a move from Thomas. Can he keep it on track? Not run too wide. He does. Great move from Thomas. What a move. It was coming. It was definitely coming, and uh, he's done it. So Thomas then makes it stick as they start lap 30. 
one. So is he timed that to perfection? Can he pull away now from Wadru? We can keep it clean. No reason why not. Wadru looks like he's got all he can out of those medium tyres now. I'm certainly not going to write him off yet because we know what he's about, but I think he's pushed as hard as he can possibly push on those mediums. I don't think he's got much more to give. He knows Thomas on them super softs. Probably got plenty more to give. So there's your top two then. So Thomas, Wadru, then we've got Dyson still there in third place. Been a good race from Dyson actually, considering he started back at the field. Got himself through that melee at turn one, at lap one, and kept it clean through there. Obviously didn't get involved in anything. He's done his stops nicely. And he could be heading for a podium here. Then we've got two fast in fourth place. Again, one who's had quite a good race there, too fast. Got himself up into the top three at one point. And then obviously had to come in to stop and just lost that place to Dyson. So down to fourth, James, who's another one who's had a good, good race. He's been up there, thereabouts at the top from the start. Was leading it for a little while, wasn't he? Early doors on the uh, beginning. He'll take fifth place if that's where he's going to end up, that's for sure. Hall in sixth place, again, pretty much where he's been. He started in fifth, I think, or sixth, can't remember, but so pretty much been pretty much stable all the way through. So he heads down the turn, it's one and two. Chuck, meanwhile, seventh place again, consistently in seventh for the majority of this race. So that'd be a good result for Chuck too. DJ, another one who's been in and around eighth place pretty much all race. I don't think he's going to improve on that. Who knows? We've got six laps left now. Unforgiven in ninth. I was expecting him to be pushing up a little bit there. But maybe not quite. Didn't quite come to him, I don't think. Unforgiven. I know he would have been hoping for a little bit better than that as well. Still a good race though. Good drive. Jerry 10th. Now I know for sure that he would have been expecting more than more than that from Jerry. He'll be slightly disappointed with himself, I think. But at least he's still in a race and he's still running. Which is the main thing. So 10th for him, Ginger and 11th. The penalty and Molson not that far behind as they come through. Oh, but he's, so he could lose that 11th place to Molson if he doesn't get rid of that penalty quickly enough because Molson's obviously spotted it. So he's going to be attacking uh, Ginger. He's going to pull over, is he? No, he's not. Thought he was pulling over there, but no. He might be all right, actually. Got a bit of a gap back to Molson. Might be enough for that. 0.7 that he's got to get rid of, there we go. Well, he's got rid of most of it, so yeah, actually, 11th place. I don't think he'll be fine for Ginger there. Molson in 12th. Back up top then, let's go back up top as we approach the end of this race. Thomas still out in first place. Gives you a bit of a feel, doesn't it, of what these races and these rounds are going to be like. This is what we're going to be expecting. Not the driver's order, but the racing itself, the cars. Fantastic racing. Thomas then, goes over to the line. Start, start lap 34. So another five laps to go. Wardrew's not that far behind now, and he's got that second win. Now, Wardrew then, has he seen a weakness in Thomas? Can he exploit it if he has? Or was it just a mistake by Thomas that's allowed Wardrew to claw him back in? But 
Well, Drew, looking hungry and looking like he wants first spot again. Oh, and again, looks good there through, good exit through there, the Wardrow, and he's on the back of Thomas, so here we go again. He's going to put the pressure on Thomas, see if he can make him make a mistake. Thomas would be wise to that, of course, but when you've got Wardrow in your mirrors, especially that helmet with them eyes looking at you, then... Uh, Through the pressure. Look at this now, he's going to be right into the DRS range now. He won't take him down here, I don't think, but he possibly along the start and finish. As they start, oh, they're going to about to start lap 35. So let's have a look here. Let's go back to these two and see if Wadru can get a run on Thomas here. Now he's certainly got the run on him and he's certainly going to be taking him. And he has taken him and Wadru up the inside. Now, can he keep it there? Good move again. Thomas gave him plenty of room as well. Oh, a little bump from Thomas over the kerb. Oh, and he just tried to get back underneath Wadru. Didn't quite work. So, Wadru then takes up that lead. What a battle this has been in this second half of the race. Oh, Thomas up the inside now. He's going to have a look. Went this left and right. No. Not far enough up. Thought about it though, Wadru though. Appears to be just pulling a few lengths. Car lengths now from Thomas. So, when I said Thomas may have worked that to perfection, I was wrong, wasn't I? Wadru has got it back, but Thomas hasn't given up, of course, but this battle is truly superb coming into these final few laps we've got a few changes back there naturally so i will not stick with this but two fast is up to third now so i'm not too sure what's happened to dyson he's down to seventh so i think dyson might have had to come in for a splash and dash so wrecked his chances of a podium there too fast has got third place, Paul's up to fourth, James down to fifth, so is James having a bit of a problem? Chuck sixth, so I don't know. Thomas attacking Wadru again. Well, this is gonna go, isn't it? It's gonna go on and on and on till the end. So we'll come back to this in a in a minute. Let's just have a look and see what's happening back here. So as I say, too fast got up to third place. Dyson, as I said, must have had to come in to get a bit more fuel and uh, he's lost several positions so too fast third can he get himself on the podium then coming into these last three laps Paul fourth it's a bit of a good result for Paul if he can stay there and he gives it too much well he loses his spot to James again give it a bit too much throttle as he exited that line at turn two nearly lost it kept it on the black stuff but Gave James that spot back, so James up to fourth, then Paul fifth. So a little mistake by him. Chuck in sixth, who's being now hounded by Dyson. There he is. Dyson wants those spots back. He's not going to want to be in seventh place, is he? DJ's not that far back in eighth as well. So Chuck in sixth. Being hounded by Dyson. Ahead of them though, Paul, is he going for James up the inside? He has. So Paul again gets that fourth place back. So Paul, these two just having a little battle of their own in fourth and fifth place. Too fast ahead of them in third. Thomas is taking that lead back up. So Thomas is back up to the, the lead again. Let's just go and see what's happening up there as Dyson attacks James as well. Does he get there? Not sure. Just have a look though, Thomas has got it. So Thomas has taken Wadru, must have been along that. Start and finish, I reckon. So this does go on, doesn't it? Let's just have a quick look back though. Well, no, actually, we'll stick with this as it is at the moment. So it's Thomas, Wadru, too fast. Paul in fourth, James in fifth, Nice in sixth, Chuck seventh, DJ in eighth. 